Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell, and today we're going to be visiting the darkest small town you've ever been to. It's Fred Zinneman's Act of Violence. <laughs> This is just one of my favorite little film noir. Fred Zinnemann, wonderful, always reliable director who did High Noon, A Man for All Seasons, Day of the Jackal, uh, and many, many more, directed it. Van Heflin plays a normal middle-class guy in a small town married to Janet Leigh in one of her uh, first movies. And Robert Ryan plays a mysterious limping man in a trench coat who shows up looking for Heflin for reasons that will soon become clear. He has old business to take care of, but we don't quite know what yet. As the movie goes on, though, what seems simple isn't. Light turns to dark, and we slowly realize that Heflin isn't quite the good guy he seems, and Ryan isn't quite the villain he seems either. Uh, as good as Van Heflin is, though, it's Robert Ryan's movie. He was the real deal, a great-looking, charismatic star who uh, I just I don't think he ever quite got the breaks he deserved. He's fantastic in everything. His crowning achievement was in The Wild Bunch, of course, another movie in which he played the former friend of the leading man. Janet Lee's terrific, but it's interesting to see what a difference uh, a little hair color can make. There's something about her. She's very attractive in this movie. When she went the full blonde, though, a few years later, she just became a movie star. I hate to be that shallow, but it's, it's hard to deny it. When you see her in Psycho, for instance, she's just stunning. Mary Astor showed up in this film. It's only seven years after Maltese Falcon, but it looks like 20. She gives an amazing performance as a very tired, beat-up old hooker who takes pity on Heflin. Oh, why don't you leave us alone? Why don't you go away? He never did anything to you. I know all about you. He told me all about you. What did he tell you? Did he tell you about the men that are dead because of him? Did he tell you what happened to them before they died? The film was shot by Robert Surtees, uh, who was a master of black and white, which he proved in The Last Picture Show and many others. It starts out in this kind of very typical Hollywood-looking small-town America, but slowly as the story gets darker, so does the small town, so does everything, in fact. It's, uh, it just gets darker and darker. The shadows become prison bars for the characters who are all trapped in fates of their own making. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful film that proves that uh, film noir can, really can happen anywhere. And uh, it's one of those great movies where your sympathies just start on one side and end up completely somewhere else. Absolutely worth looking for. Thank <laughs> you.